Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Rockstar Video Editor in the new GTA 5 for PC. It's nice and easy, this is going to be kind of a beginner's tutorial, I'm not going to go into the advanced stuff, but I'm just going to go into the stuff that you're going to kind of need to cover and need to know if you want to get the basic understanding of how to use the video editor. Now, like I say, I'm not going to go into the advanced stuff just yet, because there is a lot more advanced stuff in there, you know, obviously, but like I say, I'm going to, going to touch on some of the things that you kind of really need to know just to make funny and quick videos, so there you go. So let's jump into it. So the first thing you're going to actually need to know is how to actually access it, it's really easy. In single player, or um, I think you can do this in online too, if you press the M button, you will get the quick menu up, or the, like the interaction menu, and at the bottom of that, it should say, there should be a button called director mode. Now what that's gonna do is, that's gonna take you into a different type of screen, so make sure you've saved all your single player or your online progress so that it doesn't get lost. Uh, and what that do is, that's gonna take you out and put you into another menu, which is the director mode. So from this mode, as you can see, you're going to have a character that's standing in the doorway. Now, it depends on if you've unlocked certain characters for who you ever want to use. Um, but in other words, you've got different menus called Actors, Settings, Shortlist Actors, in case you've used it before. Recently used, same two, um, if you've used it before. Uh, exit Story Mode and Enter Director Mode. Now, these might change depending on whatever, if you load it from online, but you get the idea. So Actors, um, in that menu, what you can actually do is you can select which type of character you want to use. So this director mode actually loads you into like another world on your own, um, so to speak, you know, like reloads it. And you can actually like record stuff in there uh, if you haven't actually recorded it already from single player or anywhere else. So take note that it is a different game mode, you know, a different like mode and it, you know, that will happen. So in Actors, you've got all the different types of NPCs and characters that you've got in the game. Like I'm not going to name them all, but just look, if you look at the gameplay in the background, you actually see what, there's, what is there and what you can actually use. There's a lot of type of different characters that I didn't even know existed in the game, so that's quite cool. You can check those out and you can use them at your own will as well. So now if we move on to settings, um, what this does is it allows you to actually change some of the stuff within the game. It allows you to change the time of day, it allows you to change the weather, all that different types of stuff. It also gives you options for cheats as well. So it'll give you invincibility. So say for example if you want to do a video where you fall through the sky, land on the floor and just stand up, maybe that's funny, maybe that's not, then you could turn on invincibility, go into director mode, press F1 to record, I'll get onto that in a second, um, fall out the sky, land and then press F1 again to stop record and then we go in to edit it just like that. So that's what the settings is. There's a lot of different settings in there like you see in the background too if you can just change them to whatever your will. So once you've loaded in with your character of choice and all your different types of settings are correct, uh, you can actually change these in game too so you don't need to worry about it. You just need to press the interaction menu button which is M uh, and that'll obviously bring up all the settings and you can change them at will there too. So once you're in, all you need to do, press F1 to press the start the record button, and then it'll start recording. You've got 30 seconds on that timer to record whatever the heck you want. I think the maximum is 30 seconds, and then it like automatically shuts itself off. So keep that in mind, do. Um, and then once you're done, if you don't press F1 again after that 30 seconds, then it will stop. Alternatively, if you've done your thing, um, and that's it, then you can press F1 again, and you'll be done. There is also another mode in this too, called, um, I think it's like instant replay or something, like auto replay, something like that. And what that does is, it's it, uh, if you turn that on, it'll do. It'll, it's kind of like Nvidia Shadow Play, uh, like anything. If it's something that happens and you're not pressing F1 to record, then you can press Alt F1, I think it is. And if that's on, then it will automatically save the last, for example, 30 seconds, depending on what's gone on. So once you've recorded all your video and all you need in your uh, in the director mode, what you need to do now is press M to go back to the interaction menu and click on the option for Rockstar Editor. So you don't have to do this all at once too. You can get like um, you can. Get get all your different types of clips that you've ever done, put them all together and start editing there. Alternatively, you could like do one, um, put it into the editor and be like, okay, well, I'm going to go here and do this and then alternatively jump back into the director mode and do that. It doesn't have to all be at once, so which is cool. You can save it and then edit it from there. So I'm, like I said, press M, go to the interaction menu and load up the Rockstar editor. So now that we're in the Rockstar editor, all you need to do is create yourself a new project and then click on add clip and there'll be a big list of all the clips you've ever recorded um, and all you need to do is select the ones you want. At the moment, I think you can only add in one, uh, one at a time. So like add one clip and then do that and then add another and then add another. You know, you get the idea. Uh, and then once you've done that, you'll come up with a different timeline. Now think of this as your overall timeline. So this is all the clips added together for your final cut. What you want to do then is you want to press enter and you'll be taken into a different editor, so to speak. It's, it, it's all the same editor. But it's, it's loading the clip in other words. And what that's doing is it's got, um, you can now preview what you've actually done and you've got a different uh, thing at the top left which says all your cameras, your depth of field options, your effects, your audio and all that stuff and you can change all of that beautiful stuff as you can. 
So all you need to do is find the parts that you want for this um, for this clip. Now the clip I'm using in the background, I apologise that it has to be a smack cam or you know me punching someone in the face. I just couldn't think of any anything else to do for this tutorial. So there we go. Um, but what you need to do is find the position that you want. Um, edit it so like you know the little clips at the end drag that to where you want the start drag that to where you want the end So that's it for the timeline and um, there is obviously more but I'm, I'm just gonna not briefly cover that yet um, What you want to do now is actually change your camera type So if you go into cameras and go over to camera type free camera You can actually change the camera at will when you click edit camera uh, It'll actually let you move it around and put it wherever the heck you want you've got um, you can change the height you can change the I think, what's that called? I can't, like the zoom, I guess. Yeah, you can change the zoom. You can change how like it rolls. Like if you want it tilted slightly, you know, you can do that too. You can do loads of different types of stuff with the camera and you also could do different types of uh, post-processing effects afterwards too, which is just brilliant. So once you've found your, diff your certain camera angle, you can go to the depth of field options and change that if you want. Now it is a bit fiddly, the depth of field. If you don't know what depth of field is, it's literally just um, like the blur that you see on the top of the bottom of the screen where something's out of focus. That's all that is. And you can change it manually if you want to. You can make it automatic to the player, which is quite cool, which I'll use in this clip example, I think. Um, but you know, you can just go nuts and change it as much as you want, really. Or you can leave it automatic, which is probably what's best. Um, yeah. The other things you've got as well is you've just got effects. You can all use all the different types of Instagram effects, I'll say, quote unquote. Um, you know, you've got, I'm not going to name them all, but you can see in the background now I'm hovering over them. You can also change the intensity of them. So say, for example, if you just wanted, um, you know, like 10%, for example of the one I'm using now you could just obviously change it outside of 10% and you can also change the saturation the contrast the brightness and the vignette is that what you say I think that's how you say it you know all the options are there and you just got to fiddle away with them really you can also change the audio as well like you can change the different types of volume sliders so if you didn't want any music in the game you could obviously turn that to zero like I've done uh, dialogue volume if you wanted to boost different characters saying you could do that too score intensity that's if you've got music added to the clip I do not have music added to this clip so that's not gonna happen uh, you could change the side of that too and then also as well you can add to these things called markers now I'm obviously saying this as, as I edit it in the video um, but if you, you can add these things called markers and what they do is they make it so that you can make it advanced so you'll see in a second I hover over to a certain point and if you press the M button you'll actually add a marker now what that marker does is it allows you to change a certain uh, like add like add effects during the clip so you'll see here when I find the right point you can also use the arrow keys to scrub fine as well so that's quite cool um, but yeah so as you can see, I've added a marker and I've slowed the speed down to 20%. Now to speed that back up again, to make it to normal, just click on, uh, click on where you want another marker to go and uh, press M again and then change the speed back up to 100. So you just got to keep that in mind. And you can change all these different types of markers whenever you want. Just click on them uh, and edit all the different types of settings in there. One other thing I've also forgot to mention is if you click on the first and the last markers, you can actually change transitions. So if you wanted to fade in and fade out, which is what I've used in this example, you can click on the first marker, transition to fade in or any other one you want. Click on the last marker, transition to fade out. So you've got a little fade in and fade out, which is quite cool uh, if you ever really want to use that, of course. So once you've done editing your clip, all you need to do is press F5 to save your clip. It might go black screen, that's only just because it's saving it, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, and then once that's done, you can press escape and go back to the timeline. Now the timeline was the one I said earlier with all the clips I said that you can add together. This is the option now if you really wanted to, to add more clips in and edit those, If you, like I say, if you want to. You don't have to, of course. Um, I don't in this tutorial, obviously, you know, you don't have to. And again, if you, you can obviously add clips and then go back and add any more music and stuff like that if you ever really wanted to. So once you've done that, all you need to do is back out and press finalize, really. And watch your video back, make sure there's no mess ups or anything like that. But once you're fully happy with your clip, all you need to do then is actually press save. Uh, to, you know, double check save it, or save project as if you really need to. Give it a name, make sure you know what you're doing. Uh, and then once you do that, you need to just give it some time and it, just let it export. Now, I, I don't think it will take too long. Obviously, it depends on what computer you're running and this, that and the other. Uh, it didn't take long for me anyway. But uh, like I say, it will vary from computer to computer. Um, as well, bitrate if you want that high or low or medium. Uh, there's not actually like numbers for those, which I find a bit strange. Like I'd rather there be a number, like how much bitrate it is and all this stuff. And the FPS is there, though, you can change that at will. And really, this is my final product, really. Like I say, I'm sorry that it has to be me punching some woman, but... Um, it's the best a tutorial can get, I guess. So there you go, that's my tutorial on how to use the Rockstar Editor. Like I say, it is a nifty and cool little, you know, type of editor, so you just gotta get used to it, really, so there you go. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Like if you did, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Goodbye for now. Oh, I say I am.